over that. with Andrew McKee. Correct. Very Ple nice to meet you, sir. Pleasure. And you are one of the, uh, um, well, it sounds like one of the original super yacht captains. Well, I wouldn't say super yacht, but um, yes, I well, ran. Back in the day, eh? Yeah, back in the so. days, I ran the Limitless, which was a 144 foot fed ship. Yeah. And Gulf Streamer. Um, that was back in the early 80s. And since then, I've been running a yacht called. Pie Wacket, which is an 81 foot uh, Broward, and I've been running that since 1987 till the present day. So, you, you, you've been a captain on a boat for 30 odd years, the same boat for 30 years? Correct. Does anybody do that? I don't know of anybody that has that many years on the same boat. No, I don't. I know some people, one or, one or two other people who have been with the same owners on different boats, yeah, so they but not on the same. But on Pine Wacket, I mean, we've put a whole, she's aluminum, we've put a whole new bottom on it, we've put new engines in it, we've put new generator. There's nothing original. So it's a new boat. Anyway. It's a new boat. Oh, but a, it's classic. What, 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 what yard made it? Broward. Broward. Oh, Broward. But my owner is into antique cars. He has a very big antique car collection. Um, and he is in preserving older things. So actually, that must have been one of the very, very first Broward. Second. Second Broward ever made. And they made 250 or something? I'm I think, sorry? I think they made 250 in total. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure on the total, but we're number two. Out of aluminum. God. So, they, so that boat would be heavy as hell, made like a It's a, it's a, tank. a tank. Yeah. We've been in a lot of places you wouldn't go. To go? Where with a you? With a modern day Broward. Okay. Because she's a tank. And so where have you been? Well, we've been to Bermuda several times. We've been to South America. We've um, been to the Caribbean, I don't know how many times. But we've also, the, 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 up in the cruise quarters, there was, there was um, ports, and we had, to, we had to put aluminum over the ports because we were breaking them out in heavy seas, you know, so. There you go. So, Bermuda Triangle. The song. Go into the the, the Bermuda Triangle. The song. The, the, is it a myth? Is it? It's is a it? it's a myth. Now you know somebody could scare me now, and you know who tell knows. Tell me a really dark story. I mean. Oh no, not tell me a dark story. I mean, I've been through the Bermuda Triangle. I don't know how many times. But as far as this coast crossing the Bermuda Triangle, say from Florida to Maine, where we spend the summer. I've done 62 trips in this boat, so I've... So it's a, it's a fantasy. <laughs> well, a... you hear about the Bermuda Triangle, about the planes in World War II, but they ran out of gas, a lot of them, too, you know? Yeah. Bloody hell. So, so, I assume you're, you're very close to your owner. Yes. And you're allowed to say what he does? Oh yeah, cars and oh, that's what his passion is. He that's what his passion is. He's on the go all the time. He's a, he's actually 81 years old, but he's still out on the racetrack, doing gentlemen's racing. Wow. He's over to Europe doing road rallies. He's all over. So it's not wow. Okay, it's interesting because that older generation fixed things. They didn't just buy something that was plastic and then buy it again. Two and years and later. he's the same way. Yeah. He fixes things. Mm. What nationality is he? American. American. And you're American too? Yeah. So how did you get into this? How did you... I was born on the water. I was born on an, uh, a peninsula in New Jersey. Um, you're a Jersey boy. I'm a clam digger. I'm a clam digger. We had one side of the island was the ocean. The other side was Barnegat Bay. So... <laughs> so you've just got... I grew up surfing straight. and sailing. Can I just... Oh my God, I can see how... Ah! Look at that. Ty sorry, typing hands versus... Um, <laughs> working hands. Working hands. No, I'm hands on. I shook a guy's hand the other day and he just had callous... He had broken tendons in. His thumb was off of the wrong angle. They're man's hands. I paddleboard. I'm 65 years old. I paddleboard. I'm on the go. So you're, you're, you're only ever going to retire when... 
when I uh, when I run out of energy. Yeah. But um, and you live on the boat? No, I live. We have I have a we have a house there, and we have a house up on the North Shore of Boston. Good God. It's amazing, actually. You're, so your generation and older, it's about fixing things and it's about staying the course. It's about not changing something just for the sake of changing it. It's no. Why change something? Fix it. So, the, yeah, but that's because not... Because the older things don't have what modern... I mean, the older things were made much better yeah. than today's world. What phone have you got? I'm sorry? What, what telephone do you have? I have a, geez, I have a Samsung. A new one or an oldie? No. The, the secretary in the office... Got you a new one? Yes, because I used to call her to say, you know, could you Google this for me? And she finally said no. You do it. <laughs> no, I'm sending you a new phone. That was oh, like dear. eight years ago, you know? Oh, okay. But All I'm right. glad she did. So it sounds like your boat's relatively drama-free and... Well, drama-free, I've had my chef for 16 years. I've had my stewardess for nine years. Are so... You, are you married? Am I, am I married? Yes, I've been married. Not to the stewardess? No, not to the chef either. My so, wife has her own business. She's, she's in the vintage clothes business. And she's on internet business and uh, she does very well. Huh. And she travels with you when you... No, she, she, she travels up north. That's why we have the house up north. Okay. She's up north in the summer and... Um, She's from Boston area, so that's why she goes up there. You're living the dream. I am. Your version of the dream. I am. Yeah. It's, I'm a very lucky person, and I will be the first to say it. Yeah. Good God. It's amazing to meet somebody who's actually so content with their life. I wouldn't change it. And I have two great, great kids, and they're both, they're both in college. One's going for his master's. And they're very athletic and very involved in a lot of different things. Yeah. What would be your advice then to me or my age group who are always looking to bigger, better, harder, longer? What's, what's, the, what's the trick to that, not worrying about that pursuit of... You can't say that. I mean, there's everybody's got little worries in their life. But, I mean, you just have to take things as they come, and you have to have a goal and live up to that goal or that expectation you want for yourself, you know? Yeah. I had a very good foundation um, with my parents and growing up, and that foundation has... I've kept that foundation throughout my life, you know? And my kids have done the same thing, you know? We grew up... We discuss things at the dinner table, what, they're, what happened in school that day. We're always in communication, you know. It's, um, we don't talk politics on this show, but I'm assuming Republican. Absolutely not. Democrat? I'm an independent. Oh, well, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to be. I'm way very we, independent. We don't have to get into arguments. We don't have to worry about <laughs> pissing people off. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Definitely. Thank you very much for being on our show. Pleasure. Cool. Give us time.